fuel power tools and equipment produce exhaust gases containing carbon monoxide, a poisonous gas that is imperceptible by our senses. A fuel-fired heater left running all night produces carbon monoxide. So when you start work in the morning, the air is already contaminated. If you add the exhaust from another equipment, like a concrete power trowel, the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning goes up. Even at low levels, breathing in carbon monoxide can lead to serious consequences, even death. In the winter, because windows and doors are closed up, the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning is even higher. Luckily, we can reduce the risk of being exposed to carbon monoxide by properly planning our job site. The best way to protect yourself is to use equipment that doesn't generate carbon monoxide, like battery-powered or electric equipment. But when you have to use fuel-powered equipment with an internal combustion engine, you need to reduce the exposure to the exhaust gases as much as possible. When you can, keep the equipment outside while working in an area where the air can circulate, away from doors, windows, and air intakes. When the equipment has to be used indoors, the work area must always be adequately ventilated with fans that draw in fresh air and push out the contaminated air. When the situation allows, install an exhaust hose to draw the exhaust outside. Poorly maintained tools and equipment produce more carbon monoxide. That's why they should always be inspected and maintained in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Even if you reduce the exposure to exhaust gases, you need to measure carbon monoxide levels. The only way to do so is to use carbon monoxide detectors. You need to use a model designed for industrial use because the in-home units are not designed to measure levels in accordance with regulatory standards. They must be used, maintained and calibrated in accordance with the manufacturer's specifications. While you work, you need to have detectors positioned close to stationary sources of gas emissions and you need to keep a detector on you while using mobile equipment. And since a job site changes constantly, you need to frequently reevaluate the position and the number of detectors needed. To make sure you don't exceed the daily exposure limit, you need to regularly check the levels on the detectors. If the limit is reached, you need to leave the job site and ventilate the area until the carbon monoxide levels go back down to a safe level. In short, the best way to protect yourself against carbon monoxide poisoning is to use equipment that does not generate any exhaust gases, to reduce the concentration level and the level of exposure as much as possible, and to adequately use carbon monoxide detectors. And remember, no matter the hazard, proper planning is always the first step. If you have any questions or need advice, APCHQ advisors are always here to help.